Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my Etsy shipping cart, what's in it, and how I ship my orders. So first I'm gonna give you a little tour here. So this is just an Ikea cart that I got several years ago and it works perfectly. Um, so I've been selling on Etsy for about six months now and um, I'm enjoying it. It, it is a, a learning process. But um, shipping orders has been fairly easy once I sort of found this system. So on the top what I have here is the bubble mailers that I use for I would say 90% of my orders. I ship it out in these mailers which I bought on bulk, in bulk um, off of Amazon and they work perfectly. They have some padding in there um, and I sell party supplies if you don't know and you're new to this channel. So yes, I ship out most things in here and then I have these uh, white sacks, like lunch sacks that I ordered. Um, some items I put in there just to keep um, them from getting any other damage, but I would say most items, like my banners and my confetti, I put in these clear plastic bags here um, that are like the size of, I would say, a lunch bag. But um, So most orders I put in those clear plastic bags or the smaller size, and then I seal them up with a sticker that has my information for the name of my business and my website and I got those off of this print they were pretty affordable and then once I've sealed them up in the bag and put them in the envelope I have my return address labels that also have my for my branded information on there and I also have a stamp that I got that has the name of my company it says buzz party company Handmade Party Decorations, Cameron Vernon, and my website. And I also forgot to say that with each invoice on the inside of the package, I write a personal note to the person, and I put my business card on there, which has my picture and my information so that they can share the, um, the card with somebody else. And some orders, if they need extra protection, I will wrap them in pink tissue paper. Um, my colors are pink, yellow, orange, and maroon. So that is kind of how I package them with these supplies. Now, if it's a larger order that um, has more items in it, I have these um, plastic air, um, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, <laughs> they protect your, your stuff. And I also have boxes if I need it. And um, if it's something that doesn't need to be like it can't be bent in the mail, um, which I do have a fair amount of those type of items. I just take cardboard and I will stamp it with the stamp that I have and then I just stick that into the package as well to kind of prevent any bending that might happen because you know how the post office treats things. And then down here I have all of my flat rate mailers. I don't use these very often, but if it's something heavier um, and it's more affordable for me to do that, I will use those. So for all of my orders, I um, do U USPS tracking numbers because I just think it provides extra assurance for the customer. Um, it's basically $3 um, is the starting price for anything under, I guess, 13 ounces, which is most of my products. So again, that's just a tour of my cart. Um, 